quite a bit of switch work with Jane. Okay, and we also have a radio that's plugged into the same side as the light is plugged in. All Get right. that from the library, just sign it up for the year, and you're good to go. All right. I put it on um, direct, mm -hmm. no, I put it on timed. Okay. And I usually run it around 30 to 45 seconds. That's the duration until the power cuts yes. off. Yes. And this yes. is a power link by power Ethernet. Link. Yes. Okay. And then just the, um, the big blue switch, mm -hmm. which is also the big red switch because we can take all the different right. choices. Something, a jacket mm -hmm. or whatever, just to kind of give her that little bit of slant. Okay. Because of the fact that the arms are kept up here, mm -hmm. it just brings it a little bit closer to her. How, how close would you say you, you would actually have it to her? 12 inches. Okay. 12 inches. Um, my verbiage to her, from what Fiona has suggested, is more mm -hmm. of a rhetorical response. Okay. Versus hit the button, move your right arm or your left arm to touch. Oh. Okay. And if I remember correctly, it's her left side that I get more consistency out of. Okay. Even though she'll remain like this. Mm -hmm. So I usually will start off with the radio on and the lights on so she can see. Mm -hmm. So she's alerted to that. Alerted right. to that. The mm -hmm. lights are out and I've got her confined in a corner so we've got no distractions, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, you know, I'll do it once. I'll do hand over hand with her. Okay. Give her that visual. Mm -hmm. And what I've also done in the past is put down a yellow or a red piece of construction paper. Just to contrast. contrast. Okay. So if this was bright green, that would be good on this black background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then just giving her that wait time. Okay. So when her left hand is striking it, is it still up in that position with the right, or does it actually leave the right hand? It's kind of more of a all of a sudden she just kind of, oh, okay. and that's what I have to do is subjectively if I'm recording data. It's mm -hmm. like I'm going to take that as she intuitively, yeah, touch that versus yeah. oh that was just a, you right. know, because because sometimes it is just more movement. Okay, but I'll take that. She has progressed over the years with. Mm -hmm. Touching the switch, I believe, because we've consistently done this for years, she mm -hmm. she just recognizes the setup. Right. Her aide repeats it, so mm -hmm. she's doing it not just when I'm here. Right. Does she need that twenty to thirty second wait time after the single command like yes. she does with the other things? Yes. And okay. I might, because I'm so mouthy, I might realize, okay, I'm talking too much. I've got to try to, Jane. Move your arm and touch the switch if you want to see the lights mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hear the radio. Yeah. And then I might wait 12 seconds and then I might repeat that. Okay. So it's kind of hard for mm -hmm. me who's verbose to just try to <laughs> yeah. not overly mm -hmm. give her stimulation. Yeah. But just trying to, and then I kind of feel like I get into the swing of it with being a little bit not as repetitive mm -hmm. given her. But the more concise, the more the same, and giving her that wait time, and the more confident she feels with you. I think that's where her successes are. How long would you say you spend doing this particular activity before she tires of it? Is it four minutes, five minutes, ten minutes? I, I start off with the other activities, the mm -hmm. passive range of motion, mm -hmm. the positioning, the sensory input, mm -hmm. um, the weights that are already on there, so maybe 15 minutes on that. And then I usually finish up with this, so I would say I give her at least 12 minutes. Okay at least 12 okay. minutes on that. And then her, her characteristics of kind of, she'll turn a little flushed. Mm -hmm. She starts to bear down on her hands mm -hmm. and usually biting with her mouth. That's kind of when I'm like, okay, she's, she's at yeah. I usually come in between PE and snack time too, so. Mm -hmm. you know. So she's a little bit more alert to yes. PE. Yes, definitely. Right. Okay, that, that might be something good to think about. Right, because we switched her from a different class because she was more appropriate in SD for PE. Okay. So we switched that PE class, so just check mm -hmm. with her aid because she goes at a different time. Okay. And does she have any favorite music on the radio? She likes all music, so but I have to be careful with the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> I usually go to like easy listening or all right, something like that. But I think, you know, I think probably if you had a CD of maybe children singing or something like okay. that, I think mm -hmm. she would right. recognize that more. Mm -hmm. I don't think her parents may be able to tell you what like a favorite show that she has, but I usually right. just stick to the radio because she definitely recognizes the radio. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Has she, do you know if in class if she ever uses a computer switch interface with 
watching something appropriate on YouTube or anything like that. Was, she was starting a video. Yeah. She hasn't lately. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Um, we did have the interface back in elementary. Uh -huh. We used to use kind of a visual of bubbles popping up right. just to see if she mm -hmm. could, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't have success with that. Okay. But that would be something that you could, I think, try with her. Right. I think anything in that lower tech. Right. The teachers, aides, they're wonderful with trying to give her exposure to all that. She participates in everything that they